Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, the curls are looking popping. They're moisturized, they're shiny, and I'm gonna tell you why. You know that if Curlsmith makes new products, I gotta be one of the first to try them because they are undefeated in my book. So today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith and I can't wait to show you how these new moisture products work. I didn't even realize that they didn't have a shampoo and conditioner in the moisture line because we've been using the co-wash. So the co-wash is great. It's definitely one of my favorite co-washes. I got the big jug, as you can see, that just lives in my shower. But sometimes you need a little bit more than a co-wash. If you don't know what a co-wash is, co-wash is when you condition only. So it's like a shampoo conditioner combo. But I would not recommend only co-washing every week. You got to get a really good cleanse using a shampoo every now and then. So now they have a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner within the collection. Things we didn't know we needed. So today I'm gonna tell you all about these new products, how they work, show you how to apply them, starting off in the shower. So this is the new Essential Moisture Cleanser, the gentle moisturizing shampoo for all hair types. Yes, even straight. It has rosemary, sunflower seed oil, aloe leaf, and basil, and it smells just like the co-wash and the rest of the moisture line. So the consistency is different than I thought it would be. It actually looks like a clear gel instead of like a creamy shampoo, which is surprising for it being a moisturizing shampoo. But regardless, it did a great job at cleansing my hair without making it feel dry. There's many times we use a shampoo and you get like that squeaky clean feeling, not with this one. This one, it cleans it, but it leaves your hair feeling moisturized. As you can see, there's not a lot of bubbles, so it doesn't really suds up a lot, like a lot of sulfates or clarifying shampoos do, but it still gets the job done. So it did a great job at removing any dirt or product buildup, leaving my hair feeling clean and nourished at the same time. Now I'm going to rinse it out and grab the new Essential Moisture Conditioner. This is a rinse out conditioner for all hair types. It has rosemary, coconut oil, avocado oil, and aloe leaves. So very moisturizing ingredients. I do wish that Curlsmith put their conditioners in squeeze bottles. I'm just not a fan of pumps, but once I got it out, it did a great job at leaving my hair feeling nice and smooth and silky. It was easy to detangle. And of course, all of their products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, vegan, and cruelty free. So both of these products worked just as well as I thought they would, just as well as the conditioner, but now you're getting more of a clean with the shampoo and probably even more moisture with the conditioner. So I would recommend if you wash your hair twice a week that you should start off with a shampoo and conditioner that gives you some moisture like these new products and then maybe on that second wash that's when you could use your co-wash. But don't just use the co-wash every week and that's it. You need a shampoo eventually. So although I know some of you might be overwhelmed by the amount of Curlsmith products that are out there and that you probably own because I know a lot of y'all went crazy on Black Friday. But they really think of everybody. So now there is a complete line I feel like, just for all the different things that your hair might need. So if you know that your hair or scalp needs more attention, you can get the scalp recipe. If you know your hair is really dry, you now can get the moisture recipe. If you know your hair just needs some more shine or you need fragrance free, they got that too. If you need more protein, they got that too. So they're really just trying to give you guys options on what's going to be beneficial for you and your hair. But let's continue my routine with the entire moisture collection. Your girl hasn't deep conditioned as much as I should have. I'm gonna be honest, I've been a little busy with the babies, but I am gonna grab one of my favorite deep conditioners, the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher. So I'm going to apply this on my wet hair after the shower, then put it under a shower cap and let it sit for a solid 20, 30 minutes. I'm just gonna do my makeup and then come back to rinse it out. Now that I'm looking even cuter, I'm gonna rinse it out and now I'm going to apply my stylers. For my stylers, I use the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. This is a styling cream for curly and wavy hair. It's a soft hold that will chill out your gel. It's a lightweight soft hold cream that I do like to use. And then on top, I'm going to add my in shower style fixer. This is a level 10 extreme hold styling gel. But when I pair it with the Hold Me Softly Style Balm, it does give me a less hold. So this is like a little too strong for you or a little too sticky. Use the Hold Me Softly Style Balm first and they make a great team, as you can see. So I just let my hair air dry and that is how we got to this point here. I mean, the curls, they always look good when I use Curlsmith. Like, let's just be real, always. So if you get a good look at my curls, very moisturized, very minimal frizz. And that's with me trying to 
fluff it out and like manipulating it probably stronger than I should. And it just feels moisturized. Like it does not feel dry. Look at this curl. Oh, that's a good one. So how do you know if your hair is dry? I mean, one, you should just be able to know by looking at it or feeling it. But if you have a lot of frizz, it needs more moisture. If it's lacking shine, it needs more moisture. If it's lacking bounce, it needs more moisture. Like your curls, there, there should be, there needs to be movement. The ringlets should be popping, the definition. Like if you're having a good hair day, it's probably because your hair is well moisturized. And now that we're in these winter months, you might be dealing with drier hair. So now it's even more important to make sure you're using conditioning products. Really pay attention to your hair after you use your shampoo, immediately after, like while you're still in the shower. Does it feel like squeaky clean? because that's good to do a clarifying cleanse at least once a month. But if your hair is dry, you wanna focus on a moisturizing shampoo. Now that I have tried probably 10,000 shampoos in my lifetime, I have definitely started to prefer a moisturizing shampoo. Because if I can get my scalp clean and not have my shampoo strip away all my moisture, that's gonna be a win for me. But now, the most common curly hair issue, lack of moisture, dryness. There's a solution for you with the new Essential Moisture Cleanser and Conditioner. But now that the curls are popping, let me stick to my hairstyle challenge and also do a little hairstyle for you before we go. So I already posted this style on Instagram and it turned out way better than I thought it would. I got it from Marley Dancing Girl. She is, first of all, she was gorgeous. Her hairstyles are popping and she can really dance. So definitely check her out. But all you do is grab the front piece, like so. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out on the first looks. Grab some front pieces. You want it to be somewhat long. Then you connect them under the chin. I know what you're thinking. This isn't gonna look cute. You look like an elf with a beard. <laughs> Trust me. I know it's crazy. You split your beard in two. Then you connect this one to this side, like so. And then this one to this side. Then the last step, you just connect the two bottom pieces, like so. Then you just take it and flip it over like so. Do, 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 do. How's it look? Where's the mirror? Look at that. So easy, so cute. Looks like I did like a intricate type of braid back there, but I did it. I just made a beard and put it over. Isn't that cute? Hairstyle challenge, check. But like I said, I have done this on Instagram already. So if you're already on Instagram, you get all the first looks exclusives. You guys knew about all the giveaways that I did. So you don't want to miss out. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter to be the first to know about everything. I'll be sure to link both of these new products in the description box for you guys to shop. Please use my link. But you could check out the entire moisture line. And they even have some thicker products if you have thicker hair. I have fine low porosity, medium porosity hair, and all these products work great for me. There's also an oil and cream and their curling souffle. So if you have thicker, coarser hair, you might like those two products instead of the Hold Me Softly and In Shower Style Fixer. There's also little minis if you wanna try something before you commit, but go crazy. I feel like this look is giving me like the Jasmine vibe. Princess Jasmine, do you see it? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.